Greetings fellow YouTubers and citizens of Gotham. Uh, I'll give you one guess to figure out which type of action figure we're going to be reviewing today. And if you say Superman, you're an idiot. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. I ride my bicycle, I like to play with toys. And that's because it's not Superman, of course, it's Batman. Um, and not just any Batman, today we're going to be reviewing a series of Adam West inspired Batman figures. Batman toys that were inspired by the 1960s classic television series. So these are not just random any Batman toys. Every single one that we're going to be comparing and contrasting comes from the 1960s Batman series. And the first one, this one's already been opened. Some of them are in their packaging and we'll open it right here in front of you. Others have already been previously opened. This is the Mattel uh, Adam West Batman classic TV Batman. Uh, made by Mattel and um, the first this came as part of a two pack with Robin and this was the Robin figure that came with it and it came uh, with the with the with the what would you call it a facade I don't know what you would call it but it was like it, it came with um, a window and like a wall and a rope and the two of them like climbing up the wall in the rope. I have that somewhere, but it's not really important because we're focusing just on reviewing the figure. So the Robin, we're not really reviewing today, but we are reviewing the Batman. Now you'll notice the, f the first thing about this figure that I really, the likeness of Adam West is very good. It's pretty good. That does look like his, his lip and chin on, under there. You get a sense of that. And the cowl looks pretty good too. It's pretty accurate. But the one thing I really don't like is the joint here. There's a stomach joint on this figure. And that's a trend in figures. Basically, this was, this was not really a, a, a joint that they included in figures back when I was younger it's new to give it more articulation but I don't like it because it ruins the cosmetic beauty of a figure because it, it, it's really an eyesore to see this big joint in the middle of his body that you really wouldn't see in the middle of a, a human being and we want our figures to look as much like what they were supposed to be modeled after you know we want the images to match from the figure to Adam West Batman on screen and when you watch the show, you notice there's no big giant joint in his tummy. And I don't understand why it's so important or why toy makers think it's so important for a figure to be able to go. Is this, is this action? Is that really a very important action for Batman to do? Oh, look, there's crime. I can't see the crime. Oh, wait. Oh, now I can see the crime. Let me go back to my other... Now I can't see the crime. Now I can see the crime. It's silly. It's not... In, it's, it's, it's irrelevant, and it makes the figure look crappy. I don't like the way that the cape sort of has a pointy... And it's not, it doesn't just sort of flow, it sort of sticks up a little here on the edges. I'm not sure if this is specific to the two-pack Adam West that came with Robin, or if the one that was sold just single as Batman by itself also had this. But I'm not a fan of it. I prefer actually it not to be this sort of pointy. And also there's this sort of, this tag that, um, if you read the tag... Um, the tag actually says, um, uh, consisting of plastic coated wire stiff, st stiffers, 
surface washable only uh uh all new material so it's like actually bragging about this the, the wire that keeps the cape pointy even though uh i don't even really like it um but one of the big pros of this figure by mattel because we've gone over the cons one of the big pros probably the biggest pro is that mattel also made this really sweet 1960s batmobile and it's made specifically for their line of classic figures so he's really the only one that's going to fit perfectly in there and you can fit him in and uh, he can drive around the streets of gotham so this is a really big plus for this figure uh he goes in the batmobile next up is this figure from NECA toys and NECA toys make some of the most beautiful toys now this figure i've already opened but i still had the box so i repackaged it so we could sort of see the packaging and how lovely it is and this is from NECA now it comes with um uh, additional hands that go in here, uh, a batarang, and a bat communicator. But guess what? Yeah, I know. I lost the batarang and I lost the bat communicator because I'm an idiot, okay? Uh, I fell on my carpet and I think I accidentally vacuumed it up with the vacuum clean machine or clean. So that was a mistake. So we just have sort of the bare bones figure. But do know that those accessories are actually really cool so if you get it it is going to come with the batarang now let's take a look the likeness also a great likeness of adam west very spot on also the cowl hangs down a little because he didn't always button his cowl up all the way so it's just very screen accurate as NECA figures often are now the cape Nothing pointy in there. It flows freely and it looks great. Let's do a spin around of this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, articulation. Of course, these figures are always very well articulated. Uh, wrist articulation. Elbow articulation. Uh, ball socket joint. Uh, he's leaning a little bit over to like the side a little. Um, which is, you can adjust somewhat but he's sort of sculpted to be sort of leaning to the side a bit that's interesting um but yeah this is definitely i mean this looks just like adam west so this this figure is going to get very high points um also no no tag back there and there you can see is you know so definitely very nice very very nice Even got the the bulge there. You know what that is, the bulge. Very nice. Okay, and up next, this is an interesting one. This is another Batman and Robin two pack uh, from the uh, classic show, um, and this is going to be a rubbery sort of bendable Batman, Adam West '60s Batman. So let's open this up, and we'll do a little review on this. And then you'll see the packaging. Nothing special, very basic, uh, you know, same image. And then on the back it says, collect all of the Batman TV series bendables. Batman, Robin, the Joker, the pen guy, Penguin, Catwoman, and the Batmobile keychain. And more. So there's, a, I guess they have a lot more bendies, but again, we're only going to focus on the the Batman uh, figure review. So here's Batman. Robin, Robin, we don't really care about re reviewing Robin because it's a Batman figure review video, so we're going to throw him away. 
Um, here's Batman. He's waving high. Is his is the pose they have him in uh, from the start? Um, hi, everybody. He seems like to to be saying, uh, but you can bend that and say, no, I'd rather have him like showing something. Like, here's the packaging I came out of. Uh, that's what it looks like he's doing now. Like like Vanna White or. And one of the models from the Price is, the, the price is Right, uh, which you carry. Here's the new car. Here's the washing machine. Yes, that's what it looks like now. But I think if you spend a lot of time bending it, you can get them to, you know, like, uh, do other poses. Um, you know, he's so bendable that you can really make him run. You can bend him in ways that a, real, a body can't even really go. You know, can bend him like that, break his back. Uh, so, uh, likeness to the television show, pretty likenessable. You know, definitely looks like him. Uh, obviously not as detailed as the NECA one, but it's kind of just good for like, also maybe you could, I mean, if your dog is a big Batman fan, I feel like your dog could even bite and chew on this and it's rubbery, so it's not going to destroy it, but you might, the cape could be cause a problem. Uh, again, the cape flows naturally. There's no wire in there, and that's good. And just a pretty cool... I don't know. Just I like it. I like... Uh, it is rubbery, so it's it's a different... It doesn't really feel like an action figure, but in the same way... Uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, I would grade it fairly high. I really would. Hmm. Okay, so we have one Batman... Adam West classic TV Batman left and this one um, this one is from Funko you might know Funko they make all the little big-headed th things uh, pops well they also make these sort of retro action figures and um, just even before we open this one if you just look at the it's a really cool kind of car, um, box it's on here so I really like the design of the box there's the back um, so let's open, let's open this one up and, and then we can review it. Funko makes a lot of sort of retro looking toys. So this toy is sort of reminiscent of the way action figures were in like the 1970s. You know, these like small little toys like the Star Wars toys from the 70s. Um, and, and, and it's pretty, cool. like I said, this one's pretty cool looking. You might even want to just keep this one and keep it in its packaging. It's not a very expensive figure, so you're not going to break the piggy bank on this one. Uh, but we're since we're reviewing all the Batmans and comparing them, we are going to open this one up. And if you'll notice, this one comes with the Bat Communicator 2, uh, like, the, like the NECA one, except I lost the Bat Communicator for the NECA one, along with the Batarang. Okay, we'll just like pop him out here. Alright, so he's a lot shorter than the other figures. And like I said, he's got that little retro feel. That feel of, um, you know, from a different era of toys. When toys were not really made. One interesting thing, look how I did not expect his head to have this much articulation to be able to like look cockeyed at Ro what'd you say Robin you want to do what in the pool you know you didn't expect him to be able to have that much articulation in the head um oh he his legs actually bend too so that's actually different because um you know, a lot of the toys from the 70s, their legs didn't even bend. It was just like this. Like, so that's actually, there's a lot more articulation in this figure than I would have expected. As far as the likeness goes, it doesn't really look like Adam West. It almost looks like a cross-dresser, maybe, because of how, like, bright and pouty and pink the lips look. Or it looks like it could be that guy, um, Powder, 
there's a movie called Powder that came out in the 1990s. It almost looks like if Powder dresses Batman because he's very pale with these sort of really pinkish lips. Like it, it's almost a very sensual Batman face. Almost like I don't know. Almost like if you like if you were in prison and you were a really butch butch guy. Like this is the type of of guy that you would be looking for to be your cellmate. Uh, the cape is sort of a rubbery material, but it's good because it like gives it a really nice sort of firm look. Um, it's a cute little figure. It's it, it it's 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 meant for like being cute, I think, more than being like really really accurate. Um, but it, it it it's a cute cute kind of. Cute kind of little Batman figure. Okay, so here's how the Mattel figure stacks up uh, next to the NECA figure. We're gonna look at them right next to each other. And you're gonna see one, the NECA figure has it over the Mattel figure on size. This one's a little bit taller. Um, it also, the details are unsurprisingly for NECA, which is an outstanding toy company, a lot more detail in uh, this one from from like the bulge right here to the lack of bulge in the in the Mattel one um, ch Chest joint here. I mean this figure actually has the same motion. It can actually move back and forth Just like this one, but without the ugly line So he actually looks like a real person like it, it, without a line across his chest um, the cape this one's cape not only does it not have the wiring, which is an improvement, but also the color is a, a more majestic sort of royal blue, which is a, a lot nicer and more true to the TV show than this one. Um, the head sculpts, it's funny about their heads. Their heads are roughly the same size, um, but the Mattel Batman his body is skinnier. It almost looks like an anorexic Batman. I mean, when you look at these two Batman next to each other, this one looks like the real Batman, the Adam West Batman from the TV show. And then it looks like he's standing next to a guy dressed up like Batman for Halloween. So uh, definitely, if you're going to look at the two of them and you're going to say, which one do you want? Definitely go with the NECA one. Um, it's it's much better figure. Um, all around, definitely. Okay, so now here's the side-by-side -side comparison between uh, Rubber Batman and Midget Batman. And, um, you know, they're, this is a really rougher one. This one really comes down to the wire. Uh, I guess they're different. Um, they're both good for different situations. Like, I would go with, like, Rubber Batman if you want to feed a Batman figure to a dog. And I go with Midget Batman if, like, you wanted to keep the figure in your pocket. So if you want to ride, walk around with the Batman in your pocket, go with the Midget Batman one. And if you want to feed it to some type of animal, go with the Rubber Batman. So they can really chew on it without breaking it apart or choking on some of the pieces. Okay, so the results are in. And in first place, not surprisingly, we have... The NECA version of the Adam West Batman. Uh, it was an easy choice because of the perfect uh, likeness. Um, just the, the great um, uh, attention paid to detail. Uh, great amount of articulation. And also looks just like, looks the most like the figure to the screen. Um, only negatives uh, would be maybe the sort of slight slant of his posture and also that this is the only one in the line there are no additional uh tv batman um characters uh made by NECA so if you get this you're gonna have to make him go on solo adventures when you play second place this was a tough decision between these two both of them had a lot going for them um I went with the little midget Batman from Funko in number two just because it felt more like a traditional action figure. The rubbery ones, 
they don't really feel like an action figure. I don't know. They just feel more like a novelty or something. So that kind of edged it out. Also, the cape in this one is very nice. I really like the cape. Um, you know, the, the very pouty lips and sort of um, dandy boyish nature of the the face part here made me think, oh, maybe I'll give it to the rubber one. But in the end, this one out. And one of the big key features was... Um, there are a lot of other figures that you can get to, to play with Batman. For instance, I have this Catwoman one from the same Funko line. And then they have King Tot and Robin and, and Batgirl. So you can get like a whole, the Penguin, I think. Maybe the Penguin, maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to check on that. But they have a whole bunch of other ones so you can get them all together and play. And so that's a great feature for that. Third place, Bendable uh, Batman. Again, the likeness is really cool. Um, you know, you can throw him hard against the wall and he'll just bounce back. Well, like the old saying goes, what's rubber is glue, what, what sticks onto rubber bounces off of you. So that's like that, and so this is third place. Uh, but it is really cool. And then in fourth place, we have the Mattel Adam West Batman, and you can even tell by his posture, he's all hunched over, you know, he seems defeated, and that's even before we, we gave him the number four spot, he seemed defeated, like he knew it was coming. Uh, just like this guy, though, there are other uh, Batman characters in this line. Um, they do have the Joker, they do have Catwoman, they do have the Penguin, they do have Robin, so there is some play more playability maybe with this one than this one. But, if we're going strictly on these figures alone, this would be the order. One, two, three, four. So, uh, wait, what? I'm getting a phone call. Yes, hello? Yes, this is Batman. It, Commissioner Gordon? Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon, what, what can I do for you? Uh, on your... On your on an emergency at Gotham Square and you need my help to come save the day? Well, you bet. I'll be right there. All right. Sorry, gang. I'm gonna, I have to go save the city. Hi, so I'm Batman. I isn't that cool? Just don't call me retarded, because like 12 people have already called me retarded, and I'm not retarded. I'm Batman. Hi, so I'm Batman. Hi, I'm Bat... Hi, I'm Batman. Hi, I'm Batman. Isn't that cool? Hi, oh my gosh. Hello, I'm Batman. Hello, I'm Batman. Hi, I'm ba Hi, I'm Batman. And I see you have a bunny rabbit. And I like that very much. Because I care about all the animals. Uh, I care about the children, the old people, and the animals the most, and I save them whenever they're in trouble. That, that's a very nice rabbit, and I, I, like, I would save a rabbit if the Joker was going to try and kill a rabbit. I would save the rabbit because I'm Batman. Um, so uh, this is my first time uh, talking to people on this site, and I like rabbits, so that's really cool that you have a rabbit. And... Um, it just seems like you and your rabbit are just chilling and having a good time, and that's really cool. Uh, I had I when I was a boy, I had a turtle, and it would walk 
um, towards its own reflection in the tank, which made me very sad because it thought it was another turtle friend. And then it would also cry. And I didn't know even that t turtles had tear ducts, but it would cry, I think, because it was lonely. So we wound up giving it to a, a, tor a turtle sanctuary so it could have other friends. But that's a lovely rabbit. And once again, I'm Batman, and I'd like to thank you for, for this open form of communication that, that we have here. It's very good. F um, for for my self-esteem i'm trying to learn how to talk to people because i don't have any real friends in real life so this is really good and um thank you okay it was nice to meet you both both of you